right. Back with the Talos Principle 2. Um, hoping connection to the stream stays. Doesn't have issues today. That's the hope. Um, I'm starting a bit later than I usually do. I understand that. But, um, <clears throat> kind of woke up a bit later today than I had intended. Additionally, I'll have to take a bit of a lengthy break a bit later. Um, and I say later, I can't really confirm what time, but the next two or three hours I'll have to take a short break in about 20-ish minutes 30 maybe I'm not entirely certain but no uh, anyway last time I left off we got to here north uh, Northland 2 We've done all the puzzles, but I ended before speaking to whoever's going to talk to me here. Because the stream kind of died. Right before I finish this hub area. But we're here. I got my coffee. My noon coffee. Hello, Pandora. Oh, creature of clay. You have taken another step towards the flame. Before you continue, ask yourself, have the gifts of Prometheus ever truly benefited your people? Or have they brought nothing but strife? Lady, I'm a robot. You made mistakes in the but the good outweighs the bad. Mistakes until they destroy you. The bad absolutist, don't you think? I've been thinking. There's three towers per car. You'd think it would be symmetrically arranged. One tower per entity, right? But we haven't seen Prometheus at all. We're built to find patterns. Maybe we're trying to find patterns where there aren't any. Hmm. Good old, uh... I can never remember what the, the name of that law is. That's one I know very well. Let's go. more of our stars. So look, it's a lovely day. Very pretty. That's what all the star business is leading to.
Because <clears throat> in the first game, the stars were kind of a bit... Well, their role in the simulation was more for the benefit of Elohim. It's kind of weird. Where you would collect the stars, and they were always outside of... Well, not always outside of the puzzle areas, but they were always in locations that were kind of not really... You had to really think outside the box to how to get inside them. Typically involved somehow removing puzzle devices from their areas. Like getting past the, the little purple grid that forces you to drop them. <clears throat> it's either that or like the like the Pandora statues, which require you to like redirect a laser from inside one puzzle area into a statue outside the puzzle areas. And some of those, like, there was two difficulties with the star lost marshes. There was two difficulties with finding the stars. It was always one. The first part was always finding them. Because it's not like you have a compass telling you where to go. And the second part was like solving whatever kind of puzzle was necessary to access the star. Rarely it was very straightforward. And usually it required some really outside the box thinking. Um, and at the end of it all, all you got was rather lackluster ending in my opinion. This area looks flooded as well. Our ancestors melted a whole lot of ice. Whoa. After they died, most coastal settlements were claimed by the sea. South of New Jerusalem, there's a whole city under the water. We went there once with Garrus when I was an apprentice. It was eerie. That's exactly why the founder created the goal. When you go past the limits, this is what happens. Mother Nature always gets her revenge in the end. This isn't revenge, Al. It's just failure. People's concerned, it's all the same. Their mistake was forgetting that, telling themselves nothing would change. It always does. Hmm. Um, but yeah, the ending was pretty lackluster. If you collect all the stars, you would um, you would get to be one of Elohim's like disciples. Which all that does is just you get stuck in a tomb and you're the you become a person who answers hints for other people. I mean that's like it's not really what happened, but it's kind of a, an item to swap. Substitution, what are we dealing with here? Swap items? I have to swap an item to get this. That's less of a new mechanic and more of a limiter. I've had a closer look at the Somnodrome. You know, the one that Wan K fried. It's based on the original prototype with some modifications. As usual, the data is a mess, but I strongly suspect there might be a functional version somewhere. I know some of you have heard stories about the answers this device might reveal. But please remember, that is not our main priority, Athena. From Yarna to Athena. Beloved founder, I beg you to return to us. We cannot achieve the goal without you. You are the one who defied Elohim, who overcame the trials of the simulation. What are we before that? How can we possibly find a path that will not lead to the mistakes of the past? You are our sole link to the wisdom of the progenitor. Without you, we are lost. Praise be your name, Yarna. 
think it's that exact idol worship mentality that's probably why they left in the first place. Excerpted from What's Wrong with the World by G.K. Chesterton. Our modern prophetic idealism is narrow because it has undergone a persistent process of elimination. We must ask for new things because we are not allowed to ask for old things. The whole position is based on this idea that we have got all the good that can that can be got out of the ideas of the past. But we have not got all the good out of them. Perhaps at this moment not any of the good out of them. And the need here is a need of complete freedom for restoration as well as revolution. There is one metaphor of which the moderns are very fond. They are always saying, you can't put the clock back. The simple and obvious answer is, you can. A clock, being a piece of human construction, can be restored by the human finger to any figure or hour. In the same way society, being a piece of human construction, can be reconstructed upon any plan that has ever existed. And Athena says, you can indeed turn the clock back, but if it stops ticking, it's dead. Black snow. Oh. <laughs> Coal mine finally brought decent jobs. The mine also brought black lung, gruesome injuries, and death. And when it went away, it brought the entire collapse, the collapse of our entire society. As for the plant, I know it brought electricity and even more jobs, and I know what a difference that made in people's lives. I also know that when we used to go out and play, there were black flakes in the snow. Already. Other times they wanted to switch, but there were harmful interests that prevented change. We can't blame people for the world they were born into. Very, very true. You're gonna be an ecologist or care about the planet. You can't blame the coal miners themselves. They're the ones who are working to provide for their family. Do you go up the administration? Well, if you remove the people who made the jobs in the first place, then you still have those people struggling. Maybe the planet's better. Maybe the planet's better, but and there's you know less jobs. It's it's a vicious situation. It is possibilities. We cannot take the van. I want the accumulator. Give it to me. You can jump on this? Oh, not really. I can't jump off of it. Hmm. You know what? Prometheus. Park. Oh, I didn't see this. I'm free. Oh. I think I'm stuck on that side if I jump over. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait. I didn't mean to drop it off, but fully charged. I'm wondering if it would be easier for people to grasp, like, if they were watching from a completely out of context situation. If I were to say, narrate everything I was doing, as a well, as a streamer, that would probably get vexing after a while. But what did puzzles mean to the founder? Whatever they may mean to us and our culture, what do they mean to her? We have no record of her speaking positively about puzzles. What if they were a trap she had to escape? Wasn't all she wanted at the end to stop solving puzzles and start living a free life in the real world? Bullshit. When I was playing the first game, I kept wanting to solve puzzles. Oh, this is Private from Melampus. 
To all of you on this expedition, I am sure you have questions about the Somnodrome, but I am afraid I can't answer them. It was a dream I had a long time ago, when I was a different person, and it has long since faded. I did build a prototype of sorts, at least one part of its systems, but none of it ever functioned the way I wanted it to. Whatever Athena may have done with my invention, the truth is that I am simply not interested in the affairs of New Jerusalem anymore. I care as little for Byron's utopianism as I do for Herman's religious pessimism. I'm not sure I care about anything at all. Really. In fact, I think not caring may be the only answer at the end of the day. Everything is transient, even the self. I've learned to let go. Please do not respond. I value my privacy. Interesting. What did that fall in line with pessimism? I don't know. This is uh, from Pandora statue. This is Pandora. No. The gods have abandoned me. I think it's pointed in this direction. Unless there's something weird in the distance. Maybe it has to do with this puzzle. The wow. Make how dish one. The wow. Okay, we have a jammer. We have a driller. I don't know what we would need a cube for. Bring some to swap. Come on. Hooray. That's what it was in fact not the puzzle with the laser. Which makes sense. There's a lot of. There's actually quite a lot of stuff going in that direction. Puzzle Quattro. Puzzle numero quattro prison. Uh, don't use that word. <laughs> Gives me such horrible memories of one of, <laughs> of a certain puzzle in the first game called Prison Break. That was just, uh, just so much fun. We can't do that. That's very interesting. Quite interesting. Hmm. How on earth are you in there? I 
I assume stacking cubes, but wouldn't I need all three to do that? Three now, but I need to put two on one side. Which means I need a cube. No. That might have been a mistake. <laughs> cubes. I can build myself stairs. Up, up, up. And I assume this is gonna... Oh, that's quite helpful. Let me get all my lasers back. <clears throat> Four lasers. Or er, yeah, let me set one up to keep the door open. Real quick. And switch it back for the cube. Now I can do something like this. And I need to keep going. Shit. Wait. Oh, I can just do it from there. Ah. Yeah, let me get a cube. <laughs> What the? This barrier counted too? That's so weird. Let's go. Oh, so unless there's an R2B converter somewhere out in the wild. Wandering around these landscapes, solving puzzles, in a way, 1K's experience must be very similar to Athena's in a simulation. Yes. There's one difference, though. Athena was alone. Yeah. Well, there was all the people with frickin' messages, but... Uh, they weren't really very comforting. And she had Elohim speaking to her all the, the whole time, you know? Can't be that long. Right. Figure out what to do for that statue in time. Hmm. None of the puzzles so far have involved green lasers, so if one doesn't, I'd assume that there will instead be some kind of just RGB connector out in the wild somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. 
have to just redirect lasers to through uh, one of the puzzles. Probably this one, maybe? I don't know. There's also this one here. Simulator, inverter, and a jammer. <laughs> so I need a red laser and a and for it to be inverted. Well, I should be done with this part. The issue is I need this jam to open. And yeah, that's the end. But I can only have two things. Hmm. <laughs> so I deleted message. Listen, it's because this stream doesn't have any, well, account viewers right now. Get these damn bots away. Sheesh. <laughs> Do I just have to open it once? Well, even then, I'm not sure how hmm, how I might get there. I guess there's that, but that requires well, that requires one jammer to be on. But that's also kind of not very useful. Unless... No. I don't believe I can... Oh, wait, yeah, this way. can't get the accumulator to be blue. I don't think there's a way to do that, at least. But that's kind of what this is telling me I have to end up doing. If I can only have two items with me at any time. Hmm. How do I deal with the jammer then? Oh wait a second, it's powering both things. It opens both doors, okay. So then... I don't need you here, I need you here. There we are. I no longer need you. Put the camera through here, so I can swap this for the accumulator. And presto. We're in the money. Hooray! That was well observed, 1K. 
Why, thank you. Once again, still not sure, laser-wise. I wonder if this could reach a laser over there. Oh, ha! Look at that! I knew there was one out in the wild. Okay, so... My understanding is... I probably have to get a red and a blue from some of the puzzles. I don't know which ones. To collide with this at the same time. And then use the accumulator to absorb the green laser. And then redirect that eventually to the Pandora statue. Genius. Also, I gotta take a short break and get the phone call.
Alright, I am back. Um, let's work on this a little after. Oh wait, where where is the laser from here anyway? Yeah, it's definitely gonna have to be redirected to something else, and then as green, and then dealt with. Mother, can I suggest something? Of course, go ahead. The southern part of the island is completely dead. No animals, no plants. The soil is too alkaline for anything to live except bacteria. Yes, that's why it's a good location for some of the experiments. Well, if we want to show that we can make the cosmos more beautiful, then why don't we start there? The desert doesn't have to be dead. If we modify the conditions, life can thrive there. And that could be the first step towards spreading life to other worlds. What do you think? I think that sounds like a plan. Hmm. Spreading life to other worlds. Is that what their plan is? To try and actually go beyond the stars? Ah, baby. Oh god. Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> well, I didn't die. The game was very quickly like, uh, you did something. <laughs> A little bad there, Chief. You done goofed. Hmm. Oh my. Orthodoxy by G. K. Chesterton. This is very long. But what we suffer from day to from today is humility in the wrong place. Modesty has moved from the organ of ambition. Modesty has settled upon the organ of conviction, where it was never meant to be. A man was no a man was meant to be doubtful of himself, but undoubting about the truth. This has been exactly reversed. Nowadays, the part of a man that a man does assert does assert is exactly the part he ought not to assert himself. The part he doubts is exactly the part he ought not to doubt, the divine reason. Huxley preached a humility content to learn a humility content to learn from nature. But the new skeptic is so humble that he doubts if he can learn even learn. Thus we should be wrong if we had said hastily that there is no humility typical of our time. The truth is that there is a real humility typical of our time, but it so happens that it is practically a more poisonous humility than the wildest prostrations of the ascetic. The old humility was a spur that prevented a man from stopping, not a nail in his boot that prevented him from going on. For the old humility made a man doubtful about his efforts, which might make him work harder. For the new humility makes a man doubtful about his aims, which will make him stop working altogether. I had to read this twice to fully understand it. From Miranda to Athena, it's incredible. There's an entire submerged town just off the coast, surprisingly well preserved. Sailing over it, I finally understood what the ancients meant by eerie. I obviously couldn't have the kind of physiological response they did, but I think the mental response was pretty close. Contradictory response, part melancholy, part fascination. It's strange how tragedy and destruction make the beauty of civilization more obvious. Miranda. P.S. A deer got into the maintenance area and made a huge mess. Sorry, I'll clean it. P.P.S. I may have been feeding it. Day 296. Cornelius and Sarabi went back to the dam today. We've been holding off on constructing any new humans to concentrate on building a home for them first. But there's a limit to what 13 people can do on their own. And everyone is eager to start construction on some of the more ambitious structures. Sarabi's kindness and patience is something that we certainly miss out here. We'll certainly miss out here, where tempers can sometimes run high. 
I'll miss Cornelius too. He was there when I was born, and he is just as much a father to me as Athena and Alexandra Drennan are my mothers. But I suppose I can always go visit them. The dam isn't that far, and once we complete the monorail in a few decades, it will truly only be a few minutes away. And what are a couple dozen years, really, when you might live forever? Oh boy, Trevor again. Last time we talked about John Carpenter. Something I really like about Alex, one of the reasons why I'm here doing this, is that she's really humble. She has this incredibly positive view of humanity. She believes we can accomplish anything, but it's not about her. She doesn't think that she's smarter or better than anyone else. She just looks at us as a species. And even though she can see how small we are in the grand scheme of things, she thinks that we could conquer the stars and give meaning to the universe. Even now, even when none of us are going to live to see it. Isn't that awesome? It's a Prometheus statue. Oh my god. <laughs> I completely forgot in the last area there was a Prometheus statue in, uh, in North 2 over here. I completely forgot, if you look at the statue, it points in the direction that the sprite is. Gosh, darn it. From Theophilus of Adana to Dr. Faustus, from Marlow to Goth, there's a story that the ancients keep, kept telling. A wise man tempted by the devil to sell his soul in exchange for knowledge, with terrible consequences. I long wondered why they thought this story so important, and I'd be curious to hear what others think. The ancient writers knew that knowledge is dangerous and its pursuit often leads to tragedy. Knowledge is dangerous for those who want to hoard power. These stories are designed to keep ordinary people compliant. And yet, in a lot of stories I've read, the writer seems fascinated with the devil's side of the argument. keep people compliant. I think they often conflated political anxieties with technolo technological or intellectual progress because talking about the real problems is taboo. Pursuit of knowledge comes at a cost, but without it the world is boring and deep down those writers knew that. The pseudo-profound story that writers reused is it made their work look deeper than it was. Actually, a pretty good point. It's not just deliberate propaganda. Maybe that explains why I'm always why I always find the beginnings of such stories fascinating, but the endings are always banal. All that can ever happen is either tragedy or the restoration of normality. What's the point? <sighs> I mean, that was the point of a lot of Greek stories, plays, and whatnot. The Greek comedy or the Greek tragedy where where it, it, it almost always was a res restoration of normalcy in the comedy or tragedy yeah, it was always weird Oh, without one, you can't have the other. Yada yada. Oh, there's, some, there's a converter over there. That's uh, pretty important. I mean, there there being one out in the out in the wilderness makes me think that it's necessary to the metric. Ah, <clears throat> I need to bring something to and to convert. I also already have green, it seems. My assumption is turn this into red. Use the converter with the green over there plus the blue, plus the red to make blue for the exit. But what order? Because this will end with me needing 
the inverter. But if I take this fan, if I take either fan, I won't be able to get the inverter, or the converter. Need to bring something vestigial. He thinks at this moment it might be this box. The game agrees with me too. Except I have to be up there. Which means I need this one. Not that. It's not over there, because the laser can't reach over there. I can't be switching them, because you can't invert green. What color does this need? This needs blue. So if I can make red. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just, oh, yeah. oh, that scared me for a second. It's like, did I just do this completely wrong? Often think about how many cities there are out there under the ocean cities where people lived for thousands of years cities with their own history their own culture all of it lost under the waves if they'd been less greedy they could have kept all that I don't think we can pass moral judgment on an entire species based on the decisions of a handful of leaders but I do think they made a mistake they stopped caring about what they built. They stopped seeing the romance of civilization. Looks like it's, a, it's in terrible condition. One of the lab seems to collapse. Unless she destroyed it on purpose. Oh, the 
puzzles guiding us to the labs, or are we just finding the labs by accident? There's nowhere to go here. Unless I'm missing something. Seems to be the case. Makes sense, this is the last one. There's no schematics of the railway just yet. Vehicle done as a van. Ancient vehicle capable of transport, transporting multiple individuals or additional equipment. Commonly used by workmen. I'm about to say, we're pretty tall. I mean, it does look like I kind of fit inside. This again. <laughs> I know what this is. Hmm, that's weird. For anybody who's not familiar with the Talos Principle 1, this was one of the puzzle mechanics where you could create a recording of yourself. And that recording could do various things in the puzzle. <laughs> Manipulate the objects. Which would essentially, like, double all of your items. It's very weird, but this looks... Like, exactly like the little recorders. Seems to be broken, though. Those puzzles were always the biggest head-scratchers. They were cool. It was a very cool mechanic, but damn, were they annoying. <laughs> There's just one of the machines out here in the wilderness. <laughs> and they've essentially kind of replaced that mechanic with the taking over the other bodies one in this game. Oh, we found the Prometheus sprite. Yeah, whoever designed these stairs is, has a couple screws loose. Damn it. Let's see the 3D platformer. Oh, 
Wait, is that? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's the little leg I was climbing earlier. <laughs> When I fell off of as well. No, come back, music. Oh, it's not the one I was climbing, but it, it's close. <laughs> Woo! Kawabunga! Ow. <laughs> Hither. So it looks like that's it. There we are. So here's some of our wonderful words of guidance from Prometheus again. Paradise cannot be found. It must be built. Wise words from a wise man. Um, let's see here. Alright, let's continue with the puzzles proper. Seven. Propulsion. Okay. Uh -huh. So I need a red laser over yonder. Uh. Mm -hmm. Is there even a? Oh, there's a door I can drill. How do I get over? Oh, wait. It's purple. It's a blue laser, so I'm going to have to invert it and then accumulate it. Really? Another freaking cheap viewer's message? I swear. Why did, I, why did I bring this to this side? Okay, well, this still doesn't help some of my issues. <clears throat> I guess I don't need to accumulate red. I could accumulate blue and convert it, or invert it to red. But I need... Hmm. I can send stuff that way very easily, but I can't send stuff this way as easily. I need the driller to send stuff to the side I'm currently on. <sighs> Which is an issue because I kind of... Wait, does this... Does the blue laser reach? No, it doesn't. I hate that freaking plasma screen TV sound it makes. The boob tube sound. Vacuum tube noise. Because I need a cube, and I need the accumulator on this side. Which requires me to bring a second object on this side, but I don't know how to do that. I can bring objects the other way, very easily. Do you mind, dear? Making a lot of noise. Hey! I'm talking to you. Quit your shit, you're making a whole bunch of noise. Thank you. Sheesh. Oh, yeah. Now, how do I... Yeah, I can't take the driller through its own hole. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. There. Looks like there has to be something. Okay, that's 
better. Now I just need to take this over yonder. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So can I have three items on that side? Well, let's think about this. No. Well, it's not like I can just... It's easy to use it. Though... I can take the accumulator down, the inverter can be up there. Like, say, I do a little bit of this, do a little bit of that, do a little bit of give me that, this, that, that, and press it. An excellent solution. Thank you. Let's not overcomplicate the problems. Again, like I always do. Places of longing, New York. <laughs> is this an actual picture of it? Or is this what he thinks it looks like? New York was a place that aroused great passion. Some loved it and called it the greatest city in the world, others hated it and called it an ugly cesspit full of rude snobs. I don't know where the truth lies, but I know it was a place full of life. There was always something new going on, people rushing about, excitement in the air. It must have been an overwhelming sensation to stand in the canyons formed by those great skyscrapers and the crowd of people feeling history happening all around you. Get rid of all the new... Oh yeah, some of the puzzles are disconnected. A bridge ring. Okay. Puzzle 8, and then we look for the lost puzzles. But it shouldn't be that hard to find. This one looks beefy. Transmission. Also, I see the the thing up there. Oh, oh, <laughs> there's another one, even further up. Buddy, my friend, let's get you out of that cage. You son of a bitch. Mm -mm. This looks like it could. Well, actually, maybe not. I was gonna say this looks like it could reach. Expose, exposing to the other puzzles. That's why the architecture of these puzzles looks so weird. It tries to make an effort that you can't uh, use the devices outside the puzzles without some issues. I need a driller up here. That looks like a driller. Whee. Hey, yo, me. Get over here. I actually didn't expect to be able to fall through that, I just realized. I kind of haven't... I don't think I've been able to before. I need a red laser powering this. I can get up there. I also need to switch the item, so. Um, oh, wait. No, I can't take that. Can I take this one? Yes, I can. But I kind of need it, so. I have to square one. 
Surely I can't make it fall through its own hole. Yeah, it looks like I can't do that. Hmm. That doesn't look like it helps either. Can I trade you? No. What are you even useful for? <laughs> Besides holding this button? That's the question. Like, do I even need to switch back? Alright, I need to bring an item up here. I can detach the fan, but that does not help me. Maybe it... You know. What does the jammer do for me? What does this thing even do for me? Well, opens that, I guess. Hmm... I need two items that I can actually carry. <clears throat> the only two items I can carry are the jammer and this, but I need this to be active, so the jammer has to replace that. Which makes perfect sense. But like... This is kinda... not solving anything. Unless I just had to get the driller afterwards, which is possible. But then I need another knee. But then I can't even take it up there. Wait. I'll do this. Nope. I use the jammer to prop that open so I can use the second me to swap things out. That's why there's a second man. Don't. Gosh darn it, detective. Don't. Don't assume things are less useful than they actually are. Now we're cooking. Question is, do I do I take this down from here? I mean, what's with this hole? Maybe my guy has to stay up there. I don't know. That's why I'd be like this. I don't know. Okay, well, this looks done anyway. Okay. That wasn't too bad. What? I just got recommended my own VOD on YouTube. That's... curious. That... <laughs> that's... that's interesting. That makes me very curious. Why I just got recommended my own <laughs> No, not a reason I could find. Weird. Oh well, I'll just 
sip on that. Miranda, would you like to play a game? A game? That sounds like fun. It is. Remember what Alexandra Drennan said about games? They're part of what makes us human. Exactly. And this is a game Alexandra Drennan designed when she was still in school. It's based on her favorite book. Have a go. I don't remember the audio logs. To know what <laughs> that game is. Alright, let's try some of the lost puzzles. Or detached, whatever. <clears throat> and then we have to finagle the laser for the other puzzle. Or the Pandora Tower. Elegant. I need to get up there and have a jammer. Okay, I don't want to turn on unless the red laser is pointing at it. Very interesting. So what, what would the benefit of me bringing up to be? Hmm. Curious. Actually, let me get another jammer if I can bring this one through. Oh, would that actually be beneficial? Would the other fan be more beneficial? Hmm. And it's bolted into place. <clears throat> I have that. Hmm. This is kind of creating its own problem. Mainly because this. <laughs> Placing with the fan, probably not intended way. Hmm. But I don't have an extra device, do I? <clears throat> I guess the fan is it. So I should probably leave this down here now that I think about it. And then swap these two. I could also just do that. If I can get the fan to work, which is the hard part. Yeah. But now I need everything active and I cannot fly. Hmm. I can only have two objects with me. Get over here easily. Ugh. Hold on. Do this so I don't need the drill anymore. So. Yeah. Okay. It's a little better. There we are. So good. We have just one more, seemingly in that direction. Yeah, I will say I am a 
big fan of how the, the optional stuff is much more overt. Oh, this doesn't care about stars, I think. This cares about the lost puzzles. And the, the four entrances of the megastructure. Hmm. There's bound to be so many interesting secrets in all these levels. Surely there's still some in the ones I've already done that I've missed all them, but... You know, I, I definitely have to look up some because I just wouldn't know where to start. <clears throat> and the first game had some very interesting easter eggs. Some. The degree of which they were hidden is, was very variable. The portal one was very interesting. I get across without dying. unsanctioned, unplanned expeditions. Some think it is because I hate civilization and prefer to lose myself in nature. This is precisely the opposite of the truth. It is because I love New Jerusalem that I have to leave, because it is only when I am here that I fully appreciate what the city means, and also because I believe that if I stayed at home, I would one day be ethically compelled to commit acts of violence against those who, in their arrogance, imagine that humans should live in harmony with the chaos that surrounds us. Hmm. How can you fully appreciate the order and stability you find in the city if you don't experience the chaos of the wilderness, the outside world? It seems to be a big theme with that's like there's just so many points made in this game that all rings back to that theme of not necessarily good and bad, but of of a kind of like dichotomy of two opposites. One cannot exist without the other. How can we describe something as good if there is no bad for us to compare it to? It's a very interesting thing to have. <laughs> How can we not enjoy Dark Souls 3 or Elden Ring without Dark Souls 2 to be a good comparison?
Okay. Sorry about that break delay. <sighs> okay. be more useful. How many tools do I have at once? Just two? Yeah. Hmm. I need to somehow have this door stay open. But the jammer is near here. Or it's gonna be like over here. But I need a normal, whatchamacallit, for this door. But if I only have two things active at once, that's not gonna work. My final goal is to... Maybe not my final goal, but... If I could just have this right now, that would complete the puzzle. It has to be a bit more complicated than that. Like this. Yeah, it doesn't complete the puzzle anymore. And that's red, so this has to be... Done like this. Yeah, now everything is open, but that doesn't help me. Wait. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. <laughs> Every puzzle here was decent difficulty, not as bad as the N2 hub. <laughs> Although I guess that one puzzle that stumped me was more because I didn't know the inverters worked that way. If I did know that, it looked like it would have been a pretty easy solve. To look, please. Thank you. I want to look at this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see that Twitch drop thing is still incorrect, as usual.
Right. We're now once again met with the portal. Is there a connector? I think there is a connector at this puzzle. Okay, I don't think I can do it from here though. Actually, I don't know if that would even reach. Yeah, <laughs> I have to send it back to the wall. Hopefully I can. Okay, so now all we have to do is get a red laser and a blue laser sent to that converter. And I have the sneaking suspicion that it's going to be one from here and one from that one over there. That's that's the sneaking suspicion. What what is uh whatever they did to the Twitch app for phone is just it's not my favorite. <laughs> At least I'm still alive. I think. But, man, is it like being just bad. Because I can't even exit out of the channel, the stream manager, without just exiting the whole app. It's kind of weird. I don't understand it. So yeah, let me do this, but I, I can't exit out of it at all without exiting the whole app. Uh, oh well. Just trying to remember which one of them was green. <laughs> Can I see the thing from, ooh, excuse me, from here? I have no idea. Wait, I think that's it over there. Yeah. Oh, uh, like not at all. Now that I'm looking. I don't think there's a position I can actually be at all. Let me see it. What the? Okay, maybe there's one position I can be. Can I see it? I have no idea where it is over there. I don't know anything.
I didn't even notice this door open. Okay, it's kind of behind a tree. Yeah, I don't think I can actually see it. Oh, wait. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay, yeah, well, on the plus side, all the doors are gonna remain open. So I could just do this. Okay, so we have a blue laser, now I just need a red laser. I really hope the red one is actually on this one. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Okay, good. Finished with this region. We're almost just about halfway through the game. Well, let's move along. That's a lot of pieces. Region that I didn't fully understand the mechanics for. Um, there hasn't been a puzzle yet, even the Tetronimos. <clears throat> that's like genuinely made me just <laughs> just cry. Hear me, friend, and heed my words. Beware, Pandora. She is nothing but fear and despair, and she will do anything to prevent you from reaching the flame. It is she who disrupted the trials of the Sphinx, and who bound me in the... Like our hypothesis was correct. The mega structure is opening again. Everyone come to the VTOL, please. It's time to find Athena. What about Pandora? Huh. 
She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. We should be careful, but we can't let such a vague just keep your eyes open. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Uh, uh, okay. Back to the megastructure. There's something I've been thinking about. I know the new Alexandria disaster was traumatic. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. But what about all the accidents that have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? The collapse of the Rakowski building. The Calvin Street explosion. The derailment that almost killed Benaroya and Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing enough resources in our civilization. And if Melville hadn't been put in charge of city maintenance, this would still be happening. It will happen again either way. With how little we have to work with, it's only a matter of time. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress, but there's also a price for not pursuing. Makes me wonder. So it looks like there's more like pathways around this like you know that. Maybe that. I don't know. this again. Gosh darn it. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what to do for this, but I guess at least we made a stopping point. Sheesh. I guess in that case, I'll just call stream for now.
Yeah, I think I'll just end the stream for now. Let's see what happens when flipping. Ugh, goodness. Connection gets a little better, I guess. Or maybe I should move the console, see if it'll act better in a different location. I think I'll just do that. So, if you watch, thank you for watching. Y'all have yourselves a lovely day now. Just a little two hour stream. Uh, bye bye.